Hello and welcome to episode 39 of Bungle Collects. We've got another £250 50p coin hunt for you today. And all we want today, if nothing else, is Olympic football. That's all we need now, and it's all we've needed for a number of episodes to fill our album. So it's the album where we found a Kew Gardens, and we've got every other single circulate the 50 pence apart from football or offside. I think to give its official title. So hopefully today is the day that me or Lady M, but hopefully me, will find will find Olympic football. So let's uh, create some space. Got our new uh, logo, our new channel logo there that uh, Lady M and Ellie redid for us because the old one was getting a bit faded in the sun. So let's hope that uh, the new mat, laminated mat, so it should stay nice and tidy, um, brings us some luck. Nice. So, oh, oh, well done, Lady M. Starting straight off with a Taylor Gloucester. Well done, Lady M from 2018. Lovely, yet lovely coin. Don't know their mintage figures yet. Um, so we're looking for anything that's commemorative, and we also look for 2008 Britannias because they have a low mintage, and we're looking for 2009, 10. 11, 16 and 18 shields because they are not intended for circulation the ones that are in the commemorative packs and um, we're also looking for 2017 shields because they're also low mintage what isn't low mintage from 2017 mm -hmm. is the Taylor Peter Rabbit which Lady M has got in her hand there so nearly 20 million of them were put into circulation Christopher Ironside yeah so you're already Three in. Already What's three commemoratives out of the first bag, which is fantastic. So she's got Christopher Einside celebrating 100 years of his birth, 2013. And now I've got a People Act, <laughs> which I think is the Benjamin Bunny of the 2018 coins, because there's just so many of them. And everything else is an absolute bust. So. Oh, nice. oh. Girl guides. Another girl guide, so I can I can see so oh, you've I got something else. Is it? Oh, I know, Lady M. Because is oh, that a rare? Uh... I'm gonna have to go there because I'm new camera. Oh, it's all right. Our new camera angles catches out a little bit, but I can already see a 2018 coming along. So girl guides. Tom Kitten. Tom Kitten. Already got half of the 2017 set. Oops, what a set I should say. It's a Paddington Palace. Let's hope it's uh, another 2017. Oh, I hope this is someone's commemorative bag. Oh, sorry, yeah, I'm too busy looking at uh, yours. Tom Kitten. Very good. Coming to the palace. Oh, this, this, yeah, is, this is someone's bag, isn't it? Bag, isn't it? So this is a bag from the post office. So let's, uh, this is the post office. Oh, 2016 coming here, Lady This is the, uh, oh, just hold it for a second while we, can, while we speculate what it might be. Because it could be a Puddle Duck 2.1 million. This is the post office where we found the, uh, is it the post office where we got the 100 Olympics in a bag? I think so. We had two post office 250 bags, I think, so I'm not sure which one was which. Here it is. Yeah. Team GB. Team GB. Nice. Beatrix Potter anniversary. I inside. Oh, come on. Come on, let's have a. This, this would be lovely to be a uh, Isaac Newton. Tom Kitten. Tom Kitten. Oh, another Taylor. Another Taylor Gloucester. 17. Newton, Newton, Newton. Jeremy Fisher. Toad Boy. Definitely 100% this is someone's bag. Yeah, absolutely. Another Paddington. People Act. Another People Act and another People Act. Uh, Scouts. Christopher Ironside. Let's speculate on this one. So is it another Team GB? Could be any, could be... Oh uh, yeah, go and get get yeah. inside out of the way. So it could be Team GB, it could be Puddle Duck, um, Miss Tiggy Winkle, Peter Rabbit, Squirrel Nutkin, Peter Rabbit. Oh nice, nice. Almost ten million million of them in circulation. Nice. So yeah, that was it. That was I got a bit of a buzz there, Lady M. <laughs> so that's a, that's a hell of a um, that's a hell of a bag. The uh, nothing super rare in there. That's probably why someone's waded in. Mm -hmm. um, but either way, fantastic variety. So I've got a 2019, so it'll be amazing to get a, a Sherlock Holmes in a hunt and not another shield. Shield. Because we do have a uh, Sherlock Holmes, but I want to turn one over in a hunt. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
I will get absolutely plagued by yeah, plagued by these. So yeah, we're trying a new camera angle. So Lady M's only just in shot because it's quite hard. Obviously, we're we're trying to share the same uh, the same same space. So it is quite hard, and we've also made the the logo ever so slightly smaller so we can zoom in a little bit more to give you a slightly clearer view of the coins. But it does make it a little bit awkward for Lady M to get over. So. We are, oh, Lady M, Lady M, do, 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 do. Oh, it's got an nice. Olympic. Please with that. Badminton. That's a good one, we've not had that one for a while. No, we haven't. Decent condition as well. Yeah. So pleased with that one. So we've already got an amazing, an amazing hunt. Was any hunt with an Olympic in is, uh, is one hell of a hunt. 2008 Britannia. Oh, nice. So yeah, we did stop looking for 2008 Britannias for a while because we had enough, but I've got 50 in my uh, Britannia and Shields album, which I've shown in previous episodes. But in the end, we just couldn't help ourselves. But, uh, but look. <laughs> ADM's going to need a new spine, I think. So yeah, I think so. Lean, uh, lean fine over. <coughs> we'll, um... Another Christopher inside. Are you popping the today, then? Yeah, there's We'll, uh, we'll try and play with the camera angle a little bit for the next episode, maybe it's Lady M, so we're not uh, mm. over quite as far, I think. Yeah, see, we're just thinking about swapping seats. <laughs> Lady M have the, uh, have the captain's chair, but we'll have to see. It's not going to be easy, is it? No, it's not. Right, I'm going to have to put the camera angle a little bit more forward. Yeah, probably a little bit more forward. Yeah, that's better. 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 Yeah, and you're saying we've got it out of different ones. I don't remember going to more than one. Not for a £250 bag. Yeah, we did. And I've got a... Jeremy Fisher. Jeremy Fisher. And I've mm. got a Peter Rabbit. Of 2017. Yeah, you've had Toad. Had Toad Boy. So what was, what was the other post officer? Well, so there was our... Oh, there's uh, Benjamin Bonnie. Oh, we haven't got the Benjamin Bonnie challenge. How many are we going to get? I'm saying four. Four. Uh, I think we've already quite a few bags in, so I'm going to go five. So we did... The one where we get the, the Olympics from. So, yeah. But then we did the opposite way around this week because of the time. Didn't we? Yeah, we didn't and get we, a £250 yeah, bag though. Yeah, did, did you? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Right. Tiggy Winkle, 2016, Beatrix Potter. Yep, so there's no way we could be getting our own coins back or anything like that because we've never paid anything back into them post offices. And I say in the main, um, we're able to get it sussed now where we, we draw money out of one institution, the bank or the post office, we're able to pay it back into completely different post offices. Thanks to uh, Nana J, who's our, uh, still our our treasurer, she still sorts the, the coins out for us. Uh, it's becoming quite a uh, quite a monumental effort, isn't it, <laughs> to get the uh, get the coins put back in? And get, we're getting around about a thousand pound a week now in uh, in total when it comes to uh, still plague by shield. Um, so yeah, if we're lucky enough, if we strike it right, we can get three um, two thousand. No, 2,000. We get three 250 pound bags of 50 P's and um, 200 pounds of coins. Uh, oh, dear me, sorry. Honestly, what are I you know, talking sorry. about? Uh, if we're lucky, we can get up to 750 pounds worth of 50 P's and up to 300 pounds of 10 P's. So around about 1,000 thousand pounds all in the, in the one day. Um, I say it's not normally quite as much as that, but uh, that's how much we've got this week. So we've been able to do a couple of 10p videos. Uh, we've done another challenge video. So, oh, there's a bunny. 2017. Oh, possibly going to fall yet. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, man. Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit, sorry. Don't want too many. I haven't won a Benjamin Bunny challenge for ages. No, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so we've been doing a, we've done a few 10p hunts and we've also done a challenge video. So... Not sure whether this episode will come out before or after the challenge video, it will depend. So you'll have either pretty much just watched it or you're just about to watch it. So 
if you haven't please do have a look it was currently uh, out of the first three episodes it was 2-1 to me so we're not going to give you any spoilers but Lady L had the chance to draw two all or I could take a 3-1 lead so and what we've done in that challenge video that's two, one, seven. what we did in that challenge video is we've started using Christopher Kalex's um, oh, Paddington at the station she's got the little mini set there um, as I said Christopher's scoring. Yes, so we did have our own scoring system and then after we took part in the great British coin tuber hunt, uh, we started using Christopher Collect scoring. So it's pretty tough, um, but basically you only get points for the ones with the lowest mintages. So we started doing that and I wish I hadn't <laughs> because it's really, really tough and I do like scoring mm -hmm. lots and lots of points. But any victory that you get Using Christopher's uh, scoring is a, is a victory worth having, that's for sure. So I say I don't want to give anything away. But stay tuned for that or go back and watch it if I've already uploaded it by the time this episode goes out. Right, if you haven't already done so, we'll speed up a bit and slow down when we come across something interesting. a bit just so it focuses in might even have to yeah put something behind it that's the other thing about the camera angle lady m can't lady m can't see the camera at all now so whereas before she could glance and see just about what was going on she can't see anything at all so something else we might have to work on for the next one yeah it might be as well because it's the uh, the lights going yes. it's like light lights because it's, it's uh, it's Get June, so we're a bit dusky now. officially in the British summertime. So we're getting on for, it must be after nine o'clock now, are we? I think so. so the light's fading, so it might be that. Um, 20 past nine, so it might be that because the light's fading, the camera's having trouble focusing. So we'll have to work on that as well. Oh, now I've got a banister. 2004. Eventually, we'll see a 2019 version of that. If someone breaks it out of the commemorative packs that the mint brought out for celebrating the 50 years of the 50 pence. That's another bunny. Benjamin, how many is that for? Four. Did I say four? No, you said three. Oh, did I? Oh. Or did you say four and oh. I said five? I can't remember now. I think, he, I, think, I think I said four and then you <laughs> just did one above me. Mm. You know, he's me trying to be a proper sportsman about a gentleman, and you've just added one extra one above. Who do that kind of trick? Definitely not me. Mm. It's a bit of fun, lady, and we don't have to be so competitive all the time. I think what we'll do is when we do eventually find Olympic football and we start a new album, I think we'll start keeping a track of who wins the uh, who wins the Benjamin Bunny challenges. I'm sorry, we keep a little. Let the tally go on. What do you think? Yeah. Sounds good. Right, so I'm into the last bag now. So I've got a libraries there. Bit of a dirty looking libraries. Oh, nice. Battle of Britain. So is it a JC? Yes, it is. So there's a. Oops, dear me. So there's an IRB, IRB version of this, um, which is the one in the commemorative packs. And there's also another version where it doesn't have the de denomination on, so it doesn't say 50 pence. Um, and that's the, the silver proof one, I think. So this is three different versions, but only one in circulation. So that's a nice uh, that's a nice coin to find. Our oh, coins are a bit skewy for Lady M. Yeah, did you want to uh, open the other I think we'll save the we'll save them for the 10p hunt set because mm -hmm. there's a lot less to talk about on the 10 yeah. pence hunt. Mm -hmm. So the rest of this bag is going to be a bust, I think. Two shiny shields, guaranteed to be 2019, which they are. So that's it. There we go. It's all over. So it was, a good haul, it was. 
So should we talk about the uh, let's talk about the the plum finds? Can we go away with that? Can we sneak that up a bit and zoom in? That cam camera angle does give us a little bit more. Move them over a bit. So what's our what's our plum finds, lady? Got to be the Olympics. Definitely. Mm. Taylor of Gloucester. Yeah, two Taylor of Gloucester. Yes, it's nice there. to get them. Good. So we, we don't find that many of them. We find more of the Tittlemouse and the Gloucesters. Yeah. So I've changed my mind. I think it's going to be Flopsy Bunny and Peter Rabbit, then the Taylor of Gloucester, and then Tittlemouse for once the mintage figures come out. Mm -hmm. There's the Olympic. So I've definitely won this hunt with this. Not that it's a competition. No. But no, lovely, uh, lovely badminton. I'd love to find gymnastics, rowing, hockey, judo, wrestling. Haven't found them mm -hmm. for a while. Uh, yeah, I think the Beatrix Potter anniversary coins always a nice one to find. Relatively high mintages. How many? Let's have a look at the mintage figures for Beatrix Potter anniversary. Yeah, nine point seven million, but I think it's pretty sought after. Uh, generally speaking, definitely got a two thousand eight Britannia in there. So yeah, pretty good hunt. Loads of variation, loads of different years. Got an Olympic. Can't fall off for for uh, can't fall off with that as a hunt. So what we'll do, we'll go through the Britannias and Shields, and if we find anything uh, decent then we'll have something on the bonus part of this video. But if not, just want to say, um, if you like the video, please click the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Bungle underscore collects on Instagram, Bungle collects coins on Facebook, and uh, and please leave us a comment. Let us know what you think of the new uh, the new background, the new shiny laminated background. The bee's a bit dodgy, but uh, the rest uh, the rest is all, is all okay. Uh, yeah, so anyway, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Okay, here's the little bonus feature for this episode. So we went through the Britannias and Shields and we found another two Britannias. Lady M found one and I found one, 2008. And uh, I found a 2017 Shield. So really pleased with that. And also we needed to do the extra bit because we forgot the, um, the Benjamin Bunny challenge. So luckily, I've been able to scrape a victory with a bang on uh, count of four. And I think I get five extra episode points for that because I got it bang on. Very rarely get it bang on. So really? I've just uh, taken a five five point lead there on that one. Oh, so good news there. So Lady M was one out. I was bang on with four. So yeah, my uh, losing streak has come to an end. Thank goodness. And I am the Benjamin Bunny King as well as the Olympic King. Let's have another little look at this uh, at this badminton. Fantastic. Great. We'll see you in the next episode.